Alright guys, I'm going to show you rebug settings. So, um, first off you have the bug notifications, overpriced PS store, and then rebug settings. And then here, you have all of this stuff. For example, you can change the confirm, it, the confirm button from circle to X to act from X to circle or vice versa. You can disable automatic standby. You can set it to be after one hour, two hours, three hours, and four hours. You can do skip to patch download. I'm not quite sure what this does. You can um, set your parental control passcode to 0000 if you need to get into that app and you don't know the passcode. Or you can compete e rocket. And now, no matter what passcode you type in, you could go from 0000 to 99999 and you would not get the right one. Um, 3G information will just show you your phone number, IMEI, ICC ID, and mobile network. However, if you are on a retail one that does not have 3G, um, well, if you're on a non-3G model, because the retail ones do have 3G, I don't know why I said that, but, um, if you're on a non-3G model, it will just show nothing. Um, you can view the credits, and it tells you credit to me for creating XML files, and credit to the FIO for creating settings plus. Um, you can press arrow, which will just make an arrow come up, and then IDU settings gives you IDU settings. Um, over you have the bug notifications, so alright, let me just quickly click on um, any app of DRM will show a message up there whenever you open it. Um, and then overpriced PS Store makes the PS Store, it would tick here see overpriced. This your up a random game. As you can see, 99 and makes this thing here get shout and always say Z. But yeah, that's overpriced PS store. Alright, and that is that is everything in the rebug settings. Um I might add more and but at the moment that's everything. So yeah. I will release this soon, I guess. But Right now, I'm not a computer, so I can't really do that, but anyway, thanks for watching.